Hello. This Hello. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Sekiro. We tried doing this on my PC, but PC said no. So we're doing it on my PS5. Hopefully that says yes. Yeah. Which was all I was trying to ask. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're muscle. Um. Japan was consumed. We can talk over this, but so we were yeah, doing this. This is our new series. I will be on the sticks. Spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashi. Off of Bioshock Infinite, very shooter based. I was like, let's try an action game. And I thought about doing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but like, no way in hell am I gonna be able to wait to play that game weekly. So that's out the that's out the door. That'll also take us, like, the rest of the year to finish. Though, I mean, that might be a good stream game for some of the random activities. That might, that might be the move. I don't know if I'm imagining it, though, but it, I almost think the video quality looks a little better. Potentially. Or at the very least, more consistent. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe if it's like bouncing in frame rate a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm adjusting some of the levels because it's very loud in my ear. Yeah, the Sengoku period, so like Warring States kind of vibe. Um, you play as an orphan. That kid right there. You're not, you're not given much besides just you're an orphan. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose. <laughs> And I think this game started as a Tenchu sequel, but then oh, really? turned into what it is currently. Or maybe it was just heavily inspired by Tenchu, maybe not exactly a Tenchu sequel. But did, that maybe become a, did that maybe become a rumor just because like, there was no information maybe. until it was Let's formally see. announced? Some trivia. Because that kind of thing can happen. Yeah. Right? Like... Um, development. And I feel like fans of that would have been okay with the idea of that, right? Like, but it is easy for me to forget too. Like, until last year, I wasn't even aware okay, that they yeah. were. Yeah. They were the people behind Armored Core. Right. Uh, team so initially like, considered developing the game as a sequel to Tenchu, however, it quickly overgrew the concept. Hmm. I see. But yeah, I tried Armor Core 6, and I'm okay with systems, but, like, I was overwhelmed. Like, it played well, it felt good, but just, like, in between missions, messing with your, uh, what is it, your um, mech? Messing, not messing, but, like, customizing your mech that much between missions with that many stats because like there's stats for your legs there's stats for your arms there's yeah. weight stats energy stats like so many stats which isn't a bad thing to say but like for me and i'm a pretty big rpg guy like i felt very overwhelmed because like i think they even went like left leg right leg weight and i'm like oh no no absolutely not I give it a fair try though. Maybe one day I'll go and beat it, but not anytime soon. Okay, so here we are like 20, 30, 
30 years later, probably? I mean... It looks like 30 years. Add, yeah. Rain can happen earlier, but let's just assume 30 years. All right, so I play, I've been in this game at least four or five times, so this will not be brand new. Um, this is a fresh playthrough, however. Yeah. Not, um, not a new game plus or anything. Equipment menu allows you to change your currently equipped items. There are five slots to equip and switch out quick items. Inventory. Um, letter, Curl's Wolf. Your destiny awaits you as at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. So this differs a lot from other of the Souls games, Elden Ring, because you don't really build a character. You don't really gain gear. I mean, you gain tools, but you don't gain staff gear, necessarily. You have the same sword throughout pretty much the entire game. And... Um, you gain health and you gain attack power, but that's pretty much it. You only really gain shinobi tools, which you can upgrade, so there's a skill tree there. He has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. The moonlight shines stronger on the Moonview Tower than you. The divine arm probably was in the right for his duty again. Probably. <coughs> and your whole thing is you were sorry for the boy. I'll do my best. Uh and what's the word I'm looking for? Protecting this kid. Your vassal? Is that the right word, Connor? <coughs> no, that's not the right uh, word. Protector of some lord? That's not vassal. I don't know what it is. Um, but you protect this kid. That's your lot in life. And you're very, very low on health still. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the beginning for you. And this is the first FromSoft game that really, at least in the Souls-like vein, to introduce mod modest platforming. Hmm. And then it just bled into Elden Ring's very bad platforming. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not great. Very bad. It's not it's great. It's not even really platforming. It's just like, hey, we have a jump button, so let's you use can it. Do this awkward shimmy and shift so that you can get onto this corner ledge, or you can do this like very bad run jump I've come to, free you. My lord. to like find an item tucked in a corner well, then. that you can only get it by like carefully falling. Mm-hmm. Because I think there was a playthrough I watched someone do of Elden Ring where they did a, like, um, boys maximization build. Mm -hmm. So basically they can't be knocked down. I see. And then they, like, build up their defense and their poise. So they can't be knocked down and they take very little damage because they they're blocking so much of it. At least, mm -hmm. like, standard attack damage. And the, the, the rule of it was that they, of the playthrough was that they can't like hello they can't dodge or roll mm. they just have to keep moving yeah. forward and attacking fresh playthrough is just like okay I and i think that they build they did they got like two 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 big shields and i think like the ram armor or something whatever it's called I'm gonna skip through. That this is dialogue. one thing that's interesting about that game. Honestly, is that like there there is like a meta that probably says like there's a an optimum way an optimal way to play the game or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like there's a lot of right ways to play the game. If that makes sense. Yeah. I again I feel like with a lot of in my experience playing Bloodborne, Dark Souls. No, sorry. Bloodborne, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, Elden Ring. Those are all the ones I've played. I have not beat the original Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2. Mm -hmm. No, those are definitely on my um, list. 
I feel dex builds are a pretty popular way to go. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like too much of a bitch to try magic builds. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's heal just in case. It it feels a little bit like if you can build into it correctly, like once you get to a certain level, it's a little bit wild in Elden Ring, honestly. Mm. Oh, How I didn't think that could reach me. Okay. So yeah, um, because uh, like you can if you can get the like the lightning spear attack. Hmm. And uh, like a couple others. Oh, this would be really embarrassing if I died this early. <laughs> um, if you can get those kinds of attacks, um, magic just starts getting pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And then, and you get like later on, you get like the dragon magic and shit like that. It's like, shit. yeah. Yeah, I would describe this very much as a rhythm game. Um, not as like crazy as like like as a hard DDR level, and I died. Um, oh, I should have made a death counter. Maybe next time. Connor, keep track. That's one. It's one. It's one. Um, But, uh, yeah. No, I, I never beat Elden Ring. I've, I've thought about going back to it, and I, and I might. I, I probably have... will for the DLC, now that they've I announced need to, it. Uh, yeah, I'm considering, like, partly because of the DLC, not, I'm not going to get it right away, but, like, obviously it's going to come out for a few months. But I'm contemplating, like, making a different character and seeing the character through. It's just, I, some of the later fights I know I'm going to really struggle with. Yeah. Like, I'm no, I'm not gonna have a, I'm gonna have a hell of a time with Brad again. In that whole mm -hmm. sequence. Okay. I yeah. think that, didn't they like lower his difficulty because it was so. Uh, like, potentially. Made him more susceptible to something, I think. I don't remember exactly. I think that, he, I think that is one of those, but fights that like if you do the right magic build you can actually have a lot easier time with it mm -hmm. but yeah um that's kind of like the thing about the game though it's like you, you're gonna have challenges that are harder depending on the type of build you do exactly uh radon though was fucking crazy <clears throat> Oh, Radon. I didn't say Rad. I, I said Rad again, but I know. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Radon is the one I meant. But uh, both of them are probably hard. It's just some of them are like at least like normal pitch battles. Mm -hmm. That one just feels like okay. We're fighting a guy, a giant man, riding on his a horse. tiny horse. On a tiny horse. His poor horse. Who can turn into a meteor storm? <laughs> like his entrance is one of the greatest things ever put to screen. Like him just blasting into the ground like a yeah. fucking meteor um, is great. Okay, so the aim of the game here is to deflect last minute. Like you can wail on them, but on most enemies, except for like low level ones, it's not going to get you very far. You're going to be using a lot of time doing that. Um. I think that this is the only way to run from the fated bloodline is the only answer. That's so awkwardly written. What the fuck? Okay. Um, and this probably has the <laughs> most involved storyline of the bunch, or like most straightforwardly told. I guess is uh, a better way to put it. Maybe I don't know. I haven't played the other one, so I don't know, but. If it's just like it's linear and like kind of narrates it that way a little bit, then yeah. Yeah, just... there's there's not much to like 
Because a lot of like stuff in Dark Souls Classic. is lore in within items. Yeah. Um, Last it's the same with Elden Ring, of course. Yeah, this is probably like the most you, straightforwardly told. You get a lot of that story just by like reading codexes and shit that you find. Which is in a bad mm. way. I... No. And quests can be a little rough because they don't actually put quest markers or anything anywhere. Mm -hmm. You just have to like know if to recall an incident and remember this that you had a thing to do for a person. Yeah, it relies on you knowing the world and kind of just yeah. noticing things. Which again, isn't a bad way to do it. It's just a very I, different sensibility in terms of I do playing think a it, game. Tears of the Kingdom does that to some extent too. But they will give you a map marker occasionally. They do, but it's like just very, it's as vague as possible. Alright. Um. Are you even able to win against this guy? You can. It is very hard. because of that thrust, because you don't really have a way to counter. Yeah, you don't really have a way to counter thrusts like that, which is one of his like deadliest moves. And I've beaten him like this before. Um, it, you just, you still get this thing where something happens you get either distracted or something and he still chops off your arm so like i'll yeah. try my i was gonna try my best but it's very this much meant that you're gonna yeah. get beaten is that all the shinobi gets to offer? The that is such a massive bow yeah and i think that's historically accurate that like there, there's a former japanese longbow that's like insanely large but also, like, this game kind of plays with the scale of people in a, the weirdest way possible. Yeah. Because I think Wolf, we'll call, or he's called, is like a standard, like, 5'5 five, five to 5'7 five, dude. But then you have other mm -hmm. Japanese samurai later that just tower over him. And I'm not saying, like, a couple inches, but, like, literally tower over him. Like, 7 foot tall. Yeah. And then you'll see, I don't think and we'll you get have, like, there. This, this weird guy. Yeah, I love this guy though. Not gonna lie to you. In this room, this temple. This story does take a lot of inspiration in a lot of its areas from Buddhism, so that'll be nice to see. Talk mm -hmm. about. But mostly in like the Shinto Zen realm, which I know very little about. But for real, how does this arm work at all? <laughs> I mean, it's magic. Don't you know? Tell me you mean his way. Because I don't get me wrong. I'm, I, I'm convinced we'll reach a point where prosthetics yet. can, like, not your face. Just yet. via neural connections and whatnot, you can, you know, move all your fingers and all that jazz. But this is, like, 14, mm -hmm. 1500s Japan. Yeah. It seems most likely that, like, they'll be able to make, like, a connection at the nerve point where it would have been. It feels like the easiest. Because <laughs> the other part is, like, wiring it into your brain somehow, which, like, I think they can do to some extent. I think they're already able to map, like, a certain degree of like waves that are sent mm -hmm. to do like simple motions with but for a fully usable arm but they need to do a lot more useless. when it comes to carving someone up it is no good to come to me shinobi told me if you bring me shinobi then this is our main upgrade only. path guy you're quite this other to cute there's one in the clear to restrain it too and then there's a homie over here that we could go to uh, yeah, we don't care about the remnants. Um, to do some training, combat training, if we wanted to, but we're not going to. This what, is our bonfire. It's kind of like a little story moments, but there's also like little 
kind of like in Elden Ring, if you play on online mode, there's those people that leave like little hints or like how they died mm. and stuff. Those little markers. Or like the red people that run, the ghosts that run around. Mm -hmm. um, so that temple is pretty much our hub world for quite a bit of time. And then we can fast travel now. You gotta break their posture, which is that lower bar. Mm -hmm. Or they can break your posture. Let's see, can I get the gun guy? Oh, there's a homie over here. Oh. I don't remember that homie. Alright, ceramic shard. Let's see, put that on. So yeah, this is definitely a game that encourages you to make it one-on-one -on -one fights. Where I feel like sometimes a lot of other games would be like, take on everyone at once. They give you that kind of power trip fantasy. This one definitely is like, nope. If you can't yeah, win, run away. Get yourself run away reposition yeah so not like the same design of course but like some of the sensibilities that aren't that dissimilar from like well maybe not the spider-man game spider-man game kind of allows you to take on multiple but like maybe the bat the arkham games a little bit or the beginning parts where you definitely are willing to thin them out a little bit before you attempt to yeah. fight a big group. With the Arkham games compared to maybe the Spider-Man ones, I felt like you were much more not forced, but and required is not quite the right word either, but encouraged to keep bouncing between enemies. Because and this is part this is where I didn't like it, or I I was critical of it. It's like Batman's literally flying across the screen. Yeah. bouncing between people and I'm like this doesn't seem right but it's cool it's, looking it, it seems a little much yeah it, and I mean that combat system has been adopted in so many games now it's like you could I've seen it discussed in a few places but I don't think I've seen like a full breakdown of it but you mm. could make a full video essay on it I mean, I'm sure it's someone like, has because it's just like it's good. It's basically the combat system in. Um, I'm I'm skipping through dialogue. Sleeping Dogs. Couldn't mm -hmm. think of the, name of the game for a second. I fucking. Um, I love it's the combat game. system in that one. Um, the Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. Which I've I've gone back to try Shadow of War so many times. I just can't do it. Like. It doesn't feel good. Um, I loved Shadow of Mordor, but Shadow of War, for some reason, I could not get into it at all. Well, I don't know about feel good is the wrong word, but like, I don't know, something about it didn't. It feels clunky, didn't, didn't weighty, stick with me. and not in a good way. Let's see, am I able to get one bar off of him before? Yeah, I can probably get one bar. Okay. So yeah, most mini bosses have at least two bars. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks. They can fight with a dangerous villain when these occur. Watch carefully and look to perform a specific response. Thru L1, S thrust lands, defect, deflect X before sweep lands jump, for grabs, jump or sprint out of their range. So, yeah, Genichiro, 
Um, he has a very powerful thrust. Bead, offering four at a sculpture that will increase maximum vitality and posture and gourd seed. Cool. Let's go upgrade both of those. But yeah, the first skill we're gonna get right away, or if we can. Well, there might be others in the skill tree along the way, but um it's called the Mickey counter, Connor. And that lets us counter thrusts, which will be extremely helpful in a little bit. Because um, spear enemies will often do just like a running lunge at you. And that counter lets you just step down on their spear and then t that almost opens them up entirely to a death blow. And it just feels so cool to pull I'm off. I'm sure you the medicinal waters even after yeah, the spring is cool. Yeah, medicine adding if you can. I give for it. Oh, give for it. See, yes. Now, Jesus. if it's that, yeah. please, I should. Goodbye. Okay. So we have two uses of our flask. And then we go back. You know an embarrassing thing, Connor, for a little bit of this game when I played like a year or two ago? Hmm. I forgot how to loot. So I was just running around playing the game without looting anyone for like the, a hot minute. Hmm. So I was like, why is money so hard to find this game? <laughs> Turns out I was not just not looting anyone at all. Uh, do you have to actually like press a button to do it? Yeah, you have to press and hold square, hmm. um, which isn't bad by any means. It's just... Oh, okay. Do you know where I am still? I don't even know who saw me. Thing about a game oh. like this, too. Oh. Oh, bitch. That would have been. Okay. Who else? Okay. Are you for realsies? The nice thing is, no one can come up here with me. Really, big homie? Okay. I think I can get the big homie pretty easily. Just need them to reset. Come on, reset. Like, look at this. What is this? <laughs> Disappeared. Oh, 
I'm a little upset about that. That was annoying. Oh. Oh well. Oh, okay. Well, you're easy to deal with. Ginormous mythical chickens. Oh, is that you, Inosuke? My God, have you seen the young man? I am not your son. There, you, you always peek. I'm getting senile, but a mother knows her own son. Hmm. Well, anyway, hmm. take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it. But dude, um, Babel, I'm only like 50, 60 pages in. And crawling yeah. so far. of the Hirata family. I ask a favor. She's my mother, mine is failing. Like, I, I actually think that she's going to be one of the authors that is talked about. Like, for a long, for a while. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> it's very tongue in cheek in bits. I've, I've, in my opinion so far, like the little, like, little notes at the bottom of pages I feel is very tongue-in-cheek mm. yeah I mean it's also kind of like written like a historical mm -hmm. critique or something like that yeah we're gonna buy that don't use that very true yeah that's gonna be helpful in our next fight And I need to remember that there is fall damage. I'm like, obviously, I'm not going to say anything about like the story overall because you, you're not that far in. But no, one of the things I do appreciate about it is it like feels like it fits well into the world we know. Yeah, like other than magic existing, I don't think it's that like. Crazy or different, I guess is the way to phrase it. Okay, so let's take care of this homie. I played this through this game enough that I'm I can pull off shit like that, but it does feel insanely good. Just ripping through enemies like that eventually. Oh I can't open that, okay. I will say some parts of the game where you get into like the gun carrying enemies, that's when it gets like really fucking annoying. Or can get really annoying. 
get that statue. These are examples of remnants where there's like little story bits. Mm. From Hiata, I met Kuma, but Lord Kuro, in the end, are there ever Hiwata survivors? There are very few of us left. There's no end to those who seek the dragon. Yes, there is. Here's a dude. <laughs> well, I haven't seen you since. Wasn't I you? No. Oh, I see. Listen, you and I, I was a thief. But those days, the only problem is being broke. So, good sir, you found me off something useful. And as a little bonus, what do you think? Here's some coffee for me, not talk. Yeah, that night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Hirata. Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashida. Now, normally they would... So yeah, the they... With that beginning... Like Cinematic was like but just so the Harada, no, the Ashina family kind of took over yeah. this section. All the young samurai were away from home. Um, it was a prime opportunity. And that was when Wolf was young, and in like the 30, 40 years since, they have slowly just been losing power over and over and over. And Kuro has what they call the Divine Dragon. He's called the Divine Heir or the Divine Dragon. And his blood, his bloodline, lets you, like, revive, basically, from death. And so he sought after, for obvious reasons, like, immortality has always been something any culture uh, searches for. to get that one soon. Let's see. Your face with that big bastard just tied up in the floor. <laughs> so said I feel fine. Proclamation. Sound effects for the game are so good, Connor. Yeah. The metal clanging of the swords. All right, let's fast travel. Travel to the temple because I have a new thing. I don't think it's what we need to fight that ogre. I don't think so, at least, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't think it's the right one. Mm, what is it? Seems to me you're you're more like a shinobi lately. Cool. What? The shinobi techniques accorded within are fighting techniques. Whether you make you shinobi aren't the only. All right. So that's how you get skill trees. I can see no voice. That no. It appears the bear. I think it's time to tell you something. What? Give it. The car did it. All right, and then we're gonna fit this new tool. Scaring beast, yeah, that's so the firecrackers for like animals. All right. If you want, you'll need to know the least. Okay. So I can quick change between my tools now. Let's get a skill point. So the, the one we want, Connor, is the Mikuri right here. So we're gonna wait until we get level two. That'll make a lot, that'll trivialize a lot of the enemies. All right. How close am I? 
237. Let's go to the Harada scene. I think that's a better way to do this. <coughs> yeah, I love this game to death. I I don't think there will be a sequel. Cause I, th I think it ties up pretty nicely. But I wouldn't be mad if, like... Or at least I... I wouldn't want a direct sequel, right? I wouldn't want like him again, but I would not, I would love like another within the universe game using the same mechanics, refined, added on upon. Um, I definitely don't think it needs to be like a direct sequel by any means. I also think I'd be interested in like a FromSoft take on like cyberpunk or something mm -hmm. and that's the thing like i think they strictly like being in that medieval realm mm. or pre pre-industrial like realm i guess i mean i i will say that like cd project red with cyberpunk 2077 kind of i think partially hurt themselves with that change at least initially like, the updates have been welcomed, right? Like, yeah. Even before the big 2.0, they were making Phantom Liberty stuff. Like, it was already like regarded that like the updates had made the game Thieves. enjoyable, at least. What year is Butch? Tell me, please. The thing. The red horse on it. The sculptor mentioned. I don't remember any of it appeared. Although I had issues with it crashing on the PlayStation at that, even at that point. So I don't know. Yeah. Um, I ended up buying Phantom Liberty and I never got very far. So like, and I started a new run and I'm like, I don't think I want to go through cyberpunk again. I, it just, it wasn't for me. Like I enjoyed the run I did do, but story wise, it didn't, wasn't one for me. Um. Yeah. I also maybe this is just me, but like I, there are some interesting first-person RPGs for sure, but like I, I think that that kind of RPG, it's like gear and stuff that like actually outfits your character just feels like it needs to be third person mm -hmm. Cause it's like there's not really a reason to buy clothing and stuff other than like your stats but yeah and i'm also the weirdo that like grew up with like jrpgs so like your clothing was always more like it was always static because one, the technology at the time didn't really allow for changing outfits. Yeah, yeah, and I can see that. Oh, come on! Cross off game without a weirdo in a jar. Also reminds me, I probably said this one of the last time the last time I was watching you play this. Reminds me of the uh hand in a toilet in um Majora's Mask. Hmm. I've never played Majora's Mask. Oh yeah. That might do I want to charge up our 3DS? Because we bought it, the remake, but never played it. I'm like, do I want to do that? It's on Switch Online as well. Yeah, but remake, Connor. Sure. I, yeah. Because uh, I think that's... I do kind of want of a... In terms of mainline, like, Zelda's... Yeah. That's the one I haven't played. I one of the new 2DS models. Um and buy some of those games. Cause like there are games that came out for that era that I do want. Oh wait. 
I remember him. Um, Hug the wall. Come on. Oh, okay. Not, not quite what was intended, but I guess it worked, right? No. What? Skill. Yeah, I love that skill. Midair deflection, I want that. Let's not rest yet, because I'm not that low on health. Some of the stuff can know, be wonky. You just know a certain amount of the map, don't you? Oh, a hundred percent. Yes, I. Again, I play. I've beaten this game like four times. Now, some of the endings, uh, like right there. I know. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go get this homie. I don't agree with that, but we're gonna accept it. Not Shinobi Khan. <laughs> like he's aware that okay, I'm like he's aware that I'm there because he, he keeps throwing the stone at me. There's just one more homie. And there's one over there. Go around. the flame barrel. Let's heal. So is that what you need for for the ogre? It just makes the fight a lot easier. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary, but it does make it easier. 
And unfortunately, he's one of the ones that you kind of have to whittle his health down, too. He's like one of the ones that's like pretty antith antithetical. Is that the word? Antithetical. Antithetical. Maybe. I don't know. English is hard. Um, to most of the other, uh, most of the rest of the game, where you're like you should be focusing on no. deflecting. Enough! You don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your dreams? Still back. Okay, we're gonna get the axe guy because he hits the hardest. I remember playing this on New Game Plus one or two times, and you just start shooing through these guys, no problem. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And it's it's nice because like it still gives you even more attack power. So like on a third playthrough with New Game Plus, like round two, you even shoot through them even faster. <laughs> yeah. Animals. Such weird creatures. Is there anything? Oh, I think. Is there anything worth it over here? Um, like, granted, I don't use a lot of those like sugars that I've been picking up, um, mm. which give you like temporary defense boost, attack boost, so on and so forth. I just haven't found myself using them very often. If I remember correctly, this opens up a shortcut. Yes, sir. Let's just clear this group because I want to see if I can get another level up. If I can, that would be ideal. Hey, open up! Open up or else I can hear you! If we don't surrender, pay! get one skill i'm not ah, honorable sir Odin. they've already found the way it looked as if the young lord had no way to get at you i am trust i pray it is a thank you Oh, well, I was on my... It was a... I bet there's... That's what I... All right, this is, like, where you fight that, like, crazy fast guy, isn't it? Which... What crazy fast guy? I don't remember. It looked a lot like this area, but it could be later on. Um, maybe. Oh. Let's go back. And I think... That's the end of our first episode. 
Let's see what's. Let's go to the temple, get some skills. Get my. I like the animation. Like get my new. Uh, everything re dying. Uh, no, not there. Get my new shinobi tools ready. But yeah, this will be a fun one. If anything, it will show the world I'm a good ass gamer. If there were any doubts. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fit two flame vent and loaded axe. The shinobi appears here. What is it can bite into your foes with that? In other words, I see. I had thought that frost bite itself. Another value. So we're going to put on Loaded Axe and Flame Vent. So Loaded Axe Gunner is this. Basically a heavy hit. Um, and while there's not a lot of weapon variety, what the game does have is a lot of ways to deal with enemies. So you'll see in a moment um, that the axe is really good for shielded enemies because it breaks their shield instantly and then lets me do um, a a death blow on them instantly without having to whittle down their shield. Flame vent. Just big burst of flame. Scares anything that has red eyes. Um, there is an economy, the spirit emblems, but like it's insanely easy to get them. So I'm not too worried about that. Grappling hook. Chasing slice. Ooh, I do like that. Let's do the chasing slice. Okay, rest. All right, that's episode one of Sekiro. We're gonna keep exploring, I think, the, the Harada estate. See if we can get through our first official boss, maybe. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.